Okay, happy vlogmas. <laughs> um, I am making one of those hats with the with the pom poms with the you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. One of these. Can you see this? Can you see this? One of those to go on one of these, but not just any one of these. Alloy the boy. I saw a video on TikTok months ago of someone making these. Someone sent me these, like Tiny Hands Club, I think is a company. They sent me some of these, but I thought I'd make my own because it sounds fun. And Alloy could, I mean, it's not like he couldn't use more accessories. I've been trying to build his whole closet up. So does that fit you? So I saw a TikTok how to make a video. I don't know where the video is. I'll try and find it. But also you can just Google it, like how to make tiny hats. So <laughs> Let's do day. Also ignore this. This is for another video filming a little bit out of order. Uh, it's very cool. I just, there's not enough space in here. And then this side looks like a disaster. This is like a crafting corner. This is some art that needs to get hung up. That's for a skit. These are costumes. You really can't even see. These are costumes. And then that's like my whole crafting bin back there. And let me tell you, the crafting bin is exploding. Christmas time does something to this cat because he is dipping and dodging out of here, trying to get to the wrapping paper, the ribbons, the bows. He loves all that stuff. I'm putting it in my koozie. Let me stir it up. Okay, I don't have enough stuff. <laughs> I'll be right back. This is my first time doing this. This is what I think you need. So what you need is yarn. Is this yarn? What you need is yarn. Not a lot of it. You need something that is sev around seven inches. A piece of, a piece of cardboard that's like seven inches in seven inches. Maybe not seven inches or seven. Cause we're going to cut this loop it and pull. This might be a huge hat. Let's just try this. Okay. Something <laughs> I will try and find a link with this on below. You're basically going to take yarn. And you're going to wrap it on this book and then you're going to cut it and then you're going to take this and this is going to, I'm going to cut this shorter and you're going to pull it through here and pull it and it like forms the hat around this cylinder and then you tie it and you pull it off. Sounds easy, right? Sounds this, I guess the wrapping, this helps it make a consistent length apparently. So string or my yarn out of here, good Christmas colors. And I'm just going to wrap it. I don't know how many times you're supposed to wrap it, but I'm just going to wrap it around this book a bunch of times okay i did like 30 30 times around this book so then they cut it i don't know why there's so much like white down here but i want the color to be the top part so i'm going to cut it on this side i think the only real point of this step is that you get like consistent length in the string otherwise you'd have to cut out like 30 pieces of string at the same length so it makes sense. I just wish this video had words because I'm like, why are we wrapping a book? <laughs> and this part is too tall. I think this part is for like how how big the hat is. How big? So I'm just going to make it small because I'm trying to put this on a cactus. So I love crafts. I love doing the crafty stuff. She, she took a pencil and like actually measured on here. You know, I'm confused about, does this stay in the hat? This little cardboard piece stays in the hat? It does. It does stay in the hat. So this is how big it'll be around. This is going to be too big for his head. Actually, it might be perfect. It might be a little thick. Let's just go with it. Try it. See what happens. So then they want you to take all this string that I just cut and you're supposed to like loop it, make a loop out of it, put it through, and then you pull that through here. And then you pull it taut like that and then just do it all the way around. Yeah, they're pulling it towards the bottom. This is flimsy cardboard. She's using like thick cardboard. This is a wrapping paper roll, but do that. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'm gonna see what we get. This is the boring part of the craft when you just like do the craft. <laughs> Like the hype of trying to figure it out is done. And now you're just like meticulously like trying to trying to finish it and do it. You could make this into like cute little Christmas ornaments. This would make a hat for like a, a baby. Do I dare say baby? Like if you made this big enough, easy way to make a hat. I might do this on a, should I make a, should I make a big one? 
me just thinking about my life decisions, how much time I want to spend. <laughs> I get these packages from this woman named Lynette and she sends me like props for Alloy in his pot. She sent me some Thanksgiving stuff. And she just does it out of like the kindness of her heart. So I'm gonna open this on camera. Her name is Lynette from Florida. She always sends me good stuff for him. What is that? You're too good to alloy, you, Lynette, you know that? Hi, Christine, here is some ornaments for Mr. Cactus. Hope you like them. Also, I'm sending something nice I made for you. Hopefully it fits. It's Lapis Lazuli Beads. Am I pronouncing that right? Um, means strength and courage, wisdom and royalty, intellect and truth. This stone reminds me of you. Little mini bows for his pot. Look at this stuff. A little Merry Christmas sign, a little Christmas tree, a little reindeer, Santa himself. I don't know where you get these from, but I love them. I love that you like take the next step and like find these, collect them, and send them to me for alloy. Thank you so much. Look at how cute that is. That's the beads she was talking about. Hold on, let me put it on. Oh, it's so pretty. Maybe not on my tie-dye shirt, but it's really pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Lynette, she gets me. She knows this cactus just needs props galore. I am on a mission to get him like a whole, whole closet, a whole mini world. Okay, listen, I'm finished with what I have. I ran out of string that I cut. So I did like 30 times on the book and my circumference of this circle is bigger than a quarter. So I'm saying if you're gonna do a circumference that's a little bigger than a quarter, then you're gonna need more than 30 times on the book of string. Sounds like I'm just talking about math. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do a couple more of these to finish my hat. Okay, I'm done. Well, not done, but look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is kind of cool as its own. If you just made a bunch of these and hung them, they look like little jellyfish. These are actually kind of cool. So that's what it looks like from the side. Let me see what the rest of the video says. Okay, so then you take this and all the all the knots, the knots, I guess technically, are on the bottom. So then you take all of this from the bottom and push it through. Not, a, not over the top. You push it through the center. Just as like another layer, I guess it classes it, classes it up a little bit. I want to take this side and push it through. Never be one of those, one of these people on these videos, like a hand model. My hands are looking rough. So then you have all of it on this side and apparently you take one piece of one string by itself and tie it around, like cinch it off. And that's it. Sounds like. And then this is the end. And I'm pretty sure you just kind of cut like whatever you want off of it. trying to get that pom-pom look to it cute and with a lot the very last thing that they did is she stuck a cotton ball up in there to kind of give it its shape it doesn't look as like uniform or as nice i would have made these tie things almost more like on the inner edge because when i pulled it through now they look kind of rough they're not as taut but it looks cute like it's not bad so there it is it's cute and then i'll put it's a little tall, a little big. It's spunky. I like it. I'm glad I tried this. I mean, it's like a good little craft. I think it's easy. This would be easy for like a kid to do and to work on like hand-eye coordination of pulling stuff through. Wouldn't be bad. So done. Boom. More to come. You're going to see what's going on over here. So thanks for hanging out with me. Mine does not look as good as this. This one looks knit and mine looks homemade. But these would be really cute on a stock, on a tree as an ornament. So you can always do that. That would be a good idea. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. More vlogmas to come. More weird, goofy stuff like this. Um, I'm going to switch these out. I might put this on the Christmas tree. Who knows? Who knows? See you guys in the next video. Am I always going to sing on the intros and the outros? Uh, maybe. It might be a thing. <laughs> Sorry. Bye.